box arrived today and it's basically a car charger. Um, I already have a car charger in the garage but this one is um, rigged for my solar panels. The 7 kilowatt output for a normal car charger is too much for my solar panels and normally I would output my uh, panels power to be roughly 3 kilowatts even though it's rated for 4 kilowatts and this will this new uh, Zappi um, EV charge point will reduce the output to at least 3 kilowatts and the same amount for the solar panels that are that should be uh, supplied by the uh, this unit. As you can see, I have uh, a display here and a 5 meter coil and this should be the exact same connector bear with me as my Renault Zoe. Yep. Okay, here we have the circuit diagram, live, neutral, earth, is all wired in to this unit here. And basically, that's pretty much simple. Uh, but the more important thing here is CT clamps. You've got one for the uh, supply grid, go through the electric meter, and then to the consumer unit. And a second one, which I recommend because this will give you a better accurate readout of your solar generation and it makes it easier for the um, you see there you can see the readout it makes it easy for the zappy charger to see what's generating and give you the best total charge uh, from the generation altogether your Zappi manual will show you the orientation of the CT clamp where you pull it on in between the grid and the consumer unit. One of the important things that you have to know is that when you go into the uh, settings you need to go into all the settings and then into advanced type in your password see the CT inputs. If you're placing a second um, CT clamp you have to tell it so basically go into the CT clamp and click which one you, you need and in this case I need generation all viewers are storage or off. for this Zappi charger. The fast mode is the normal mode of charging the car up at 7 kilowatts. And then there's eco mode which will use solar panels and you can tell it how much solar and how much grid power and for me I would charge this at full or 100% eco. Go into the charging settings basically test, tell the uh, Zappi how much you want. In my case it's a sunny day so I would use 100%. Finally the, there is a Eco Plus. This should give you the full maximum power of your solar panels and hopefully you will charge them up a bit quicker. Uh, there are other features such as uh, manual boost, smart boost and timer boost. These are basically uh, in eco mode. You'll be charging at solar power, but 
having a boost will give you a bit more from the grid, hence the boost. It's been about a month since I've tested this, but generally the weather here has been pretty bad with lots of cloud cover. So I've already given uh, a real test on this machine. Um, because it's now sunny in April, I'm hoping to test this a bit more and see if the solar um, uh, will charge this and give me uh, a good idea how long it will take to charge um, doing a shopping run. Uh, in conclusion, I actually find that this machine is pretty good. I find out that I can use all of my panels just to solely charge the car and help me save some money on uh, electricity bills by limiting uh, this output to only the solar powers charging the car. Hopefully my car will now charge on solar power, uh, mostly during the summer months. Please like and subscribe to this video and I'll be demonstrating some more uh, renewable ideas for a better, greener life.